Today let's take up company accounts redemption of debentures. Now first of all, first let's try to understand what is redemption of debentures. Now redemption of debentures when the debentures are repaid to the debenture holders it is called redemption of debentures and there is always a date which is given for redemption of debentures normally uh, when the debentures are issued it's uh, it's given there the debenture is redeemable after 5 years 7 years 2 years 3 years whatever the case may be right uh, now The debentures can be redeemed on maturity in lump sum and, or it can be redeemed by conversion. Right? Now, first of all, let's see redemption of debentures on maturity in lump sum now when this method is adopted the debentures are redeemed on the date of maturity and this redemption can be done, this redemption can be at par or at premium, right? Now, let's look at the journal entries. When the redemption is done at par, right? The first entry that we'll make is debenture account debit to debenture holder account this is basically on the debentures becoming due for payment right and this is with the nominal value of the debentures right then debenture holder account debit to bank account again with the nominal value the amount that is paid to the debenture holders right here this is this entry is made on redemption of debentures fine this is the journal entry when the redemption is done at par fine now let's look at when the redemption is done at premium now here when the debenture becomes due for payment we write debenture account debit premium on Redemption of debentures account debit 
two debenture holder account. This is on the debentures becoming due for payment, right? Then when the debentures are redeemed, you write debenture holders account debit to bank account. Okay. This is with the actual amount that is paid, right? Including the premium. Now this is on redemption of debentures. Now if you remember when we did the journal entries for issue of debentures and when the debentures were redeemable at a premium in that case the premium on redemption of debenture was credited if you remember that entry we used to write like this the issue entry i'm writing hmm? And the debentures were redeemed at uh, a premium we used to write like this debenture application account debit loss on issue of debenture account debit right to debenture account and then this one to premium on redemption of debentures this was uh, credited over here right and when we do this uh, redemption entry here now you see that this premium on redemption of debentures which is credited while we make the journal entry for issue of debentures here while doing the redemption this account is debited okay the same account this is debited right so these are the two entries that you have to do uh, for when the redemption is done at premium. Fine. Now the next thing is the redemption of debentures can be done in two ways it can be redeemed out of capital and it can be redeemed out of profits right now out of capital first of all when we do out of capital it is the same entries that we had made earlier right okay uh, basically when the company doesn't transfer its profits from the statement of profit and loss to the debenture redemption reserve right then we say that the redemption is going to be done out of capital we will come to that debenture redemption reserve right uh, as of now when we do redemption of debentures out of capital the entries will be the same as we have done here right at par and at premium right okay i hmm. will take up this case when it is done out of profits right when the debentures are redeemed out of profit, basically it means that some amount from the profit and loss account is transferred to a debenture redemption reserve account before the redemption of debentures. You have something here called a debenture redemption reserve, which we call as DRR, right? Okay. 
here redemption of debentures out of profit means that adequate profits are transferred to the DRR before the redemption of debentures, right? There are certain rules uh, for this uh, DRR. I'll take it up after I put this journal entries here. Now, first of all, let's see this out of profit. What are the journal entries? The first journal entry is statement of profit and loss account debit. to debenture redemption reserve account right this is basically the creation of drr right then after that the redemption can be at par or at premium so when the debentures are going to be redeemed at par it will be debenture account debit to debenture holder account right and when it is redeemed it will be debenture holder to bank these entries are the same and if it is going to be done at a premium in that case it will be uh, debenture account debit premium on redemption of debenture account debit to debenture holder right so you have got three entries here this is the first entry where the DRR is created this is the second entry this or this depending on whether it is at par or at premium if it is at par this this entry will come if it is at premium the other one will come right and this one is the third entry this is on redemption of debentures right now I'll just take up this DRR now some important points regarding this DRR right first of all this uh, DRR is shown in the equities and liability part of the balance sheet right under the head reserves and surplus okay uh, this DRR is always created before the redemption of debenture right okay huh? so when uh, when all the debentures are redeemed right after that the DRR account is closed by transferring the amount to general reserve, right? Here the journal entry for this will be DRR account debit to general reserve, to general reserve account, fine. Then the guidelines issued by the Securities and Exchange Board of India for DRR, right? Here, a company, a company is required to create DRR of an amount equal to 50% of the amount of debentures issued right and this is to be done before the redemption of debentures that is before the redemption of debentures begins 
debenture commences right okay one more point is there are some exceptions to this uh, creation of drr the first one is infrastructure companies are not required to create drr and the second one is a company issuing debentures with maturity period of less than 18 months they are not required to create the debenture redemption reserve right otherwise all the companies will will have to create the drr as per the guidelines given by sebi and it has to be equal to 50% of the amount of debentures issued so a company if a company is issuing debentures worth 5 lakh rupees then 2 lakh 50 thousand has to be put in the drr and when all the redemption is made after that it is transferred to the general reserve account right so in today's session we have broadly seen what is uh, redemption of debentures and i have taken up the case of redemption of debentures on maturity in lump sum which is one of the methods of redeeming the debentures here we have seen the journal entries for redemption at par and redemption at premium right and redemption out of profits and redemption out of capital so this what we have done here these journal entries this is for redemption out of profits and we have also learned the main points about the debenture redemption reserve so with that i come to the end of this session bye